button basically triggers the envelope like you would be doing with a key. If you say, if you didn't have a key present, like if you didn't have any input, you could just press this and you would get the same as um, an input. And if you wanted sustain, you just hold it. So it's like basically you have a key on there so you can activate it even if you don't have a trigger coming into it. Now I wanna point out again that we have A and B. So what we've been listening to is this delay, attack, decay, release, sustain arrangement. Now if we were coming out from B, we would be having an attack, hold, decay, release, and then uh, or knee, output. So hold holds between the attack and the decay. It's like a, a pre-decay sustain. <laughs> oh man, way to make it easy to understand, Mark. But that's really what it is. Okay, and then release. No, oh, release is low. Now if we hold on, I think the decay then goes to the knee. And then it holds there. And then when you do the release, you have the release. So the thing about that is those are two different envelopes with different time settings. So now the original envelope, envelope A, is set to something completely weird and different. Um, but this is useful to you. First of all, it allows you more diversity in your output from this device. You can get two different envelopes that are doing different things. So if you were, say, in the context of the Radiophonic 1, one output could be going to your VCA. The other output could be going to your filter. And then you have two completely, well, not completely, yeah, well, pretty much completely different envelopes controlling two different functionalities. And then you get different sounds instead of that one envelope going directly to both the amp and the filter, which results in kind of a similar situation. So that's really beneficial. Now we're going to get to the trapezoid. So... The trapezoid is an envelope generator that you would find on an EMS product. So again, you get uh, this sort of radiophonic one connection to an EMS functionality. And uh, I remember uh, Suit and Tie Guy doing extensive research on the trapezoid generator to arrive at being able to emu emulate this, which is super fun because you can now go from the behavior of a Moog 911 now you're in a, an EMS trapezoid generating uh, output. So <laughs> this one is totally bizarre for me, an ADSR guy, because it starts off, if we're in A, let's go into A. The first slider is delay, which makes sense. Then we have an attack. We're getting no output yet. Uh, the second slider is an on which I think, oh, holy cow. Then it leaps over to out and then decay. Interesting. So yeah, this is not like an ADSR. So it goes from attack to this on setting. And then from the on setting, it goes to the out setting and then from the out setting, it goes to the decay. So this is a weird, again, it's a trapezoid shape. And you can hear, <laughs> if you have on at a higher setting than you have out, you can hear it doing what is basically like a sustain that decreases in voltage. That's not what happened last time. Mm -hmm. 
And from the B output, we're going to get a different thing. Our decay is now the first thing. <laughs> How that's possible, I'm not sure. Uh, delay is second. Attack is third. And on and out. Let's see if we can... Sure, even how to make it. I guess you pretty much always have to have this one. I know you can't see what my hand is doing. <laughs> this is totally bizarre. <laughs> it goes to decay and then it goes to attack we're not even looping I have no idea and then it goes to level is it going to go someplace else I, I did let go and it went to release but only for a second um, because the release is actually on yeah suffice it to say I am not a <laughs> a great trapezoid user here, but this is labeled. So the effects you can use, uh, you can certainly observe what it's supposed to be doing. And then the pyramid blaster is actually a multi-stage um, ADSR. That's more than ADSR. So if we're in a, which we are, uh, T1 is delay. T2 is attack. T3 is another attack. T4 is release, T5 or E is sustain. So it's a different sort of envelope shape. So. Okay, what now? <laughs> so we're going up with the attack. Then we're going to leap to sustain. And then I'm going to let go and we're going to leap to the other attack and then go to the release. Very interesting. And you have a delay, so you can delay that. Hmm. When does the delay hit? Maybe I didn't have it high enough. Oh, there we go. There's our delay because I've already pressed the key. Then we're going to go to the attack. Very, very strange. Um, and of course, the B output is different. It's attack, decay, attack, release, or knee. There's our attack. Decay. There's our sustain. Now we're going to let go of that. We're going to go to the last attack and release. <laughs> so these shapes are way more complex and varied than your typical ADSR. So you can get a variety of outcomes. And especially since you have two outputs, uh, you can get weird stuff happening. We're going to go down to free run and see what free run is like with the pyramid blaster. Are we going to go to sustain? No. Okay, so when it's in free run, it's not going to go to sustain. So you can get some really weird outcomes. You could put it on 10 and they'd be longer. see how beneficial if these were all going in tempo with some sort of synchronized input that'd be really cool oh 
sync seems to stop the loop. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Holy cow. Um, and of course, here, let me set something up here. I did was basically uh, these are level outs for each of the times so you can get um, so you're also getting an output from these outputs that you can uh, direct to a variety of places including like the other inputs So that's really beneficial. And that is really just the slightest, most surface scratch of the possibilities of the envelope generator, but uh, those are the functions that are present on it with the STG Sound Labs Radiophonic One.